When we talk to um, prison psychologists or psychiatrists about violence, they say that the cause of almost every violent act they've ever, you know, discussed with prisoners or or um, heard about, at the root of that is disrespect. So disrespect is the most common trigger for violence, and issues of respect and status just become much, much more heightened in um, an unequal world. Where you have more inequality, where you have more hierarchy, status matters more. And so if you therefore have less status than you would like um, and feel threatened by your lack of status, then turning to violence is a, is a common reaction. And so there's a robust body of evidence from throughout the world that links greater inequality to greater violence. Homicide rates are higher um, almost everywhere we look where there's greater inequality. I love your book, by the way. Thank and, you. Uh, it seems like you have at least somewhere around maybe 25 different things in which you show how inequality makes things worse. Can mm. you just run down a few of those key uh, sure. domains, mm. if you want, for me? Okay, um, inequality destroys trust. Um, and social cohesion, so social capital is lower in more unequal places. Women's status is compromised as well. Physical health is less good with greater inequality. Um, we look at measures such as life expectancy, infant mortality, um, levels of obesity. Mental illness is more prevalent in more unequal societies. Kids do less well in school. More young women have babies early. Um, more people commit violent crimes. More people are imprisoned. Um, and that's unrelated to the violent crime rates. And social mobility is lower as well. Now, those are just some of the effects we looked at sort of early on. I think what has also surprised us is how closely inequality is connected to issues to do with sustainability. And people in more equal societies donate more in foreign aid, or well, their governments donate more in foreign aid, their business leaders are more likely to think that their governments should comply with environmental regulation, people recycle more. And I think all of this is to do with this, this common root cause, all of these different health and social outcomes, all of these issues to do with compromised well-being, and all of these issues to do with how we act towards one another and the rest of the world and the planet um, are to do with psychosocial pathways.